Hello friends, it's me again, GB. Remember, in the last episode, we learned about plants. So, let's find out what we can learn today. I'm trying to find out any interesting topic today. Hmm, let's join me. Nothing interesting? Yes, I got it. Long and short? Hmm, what's that? Come on, join me to find out what the meaning of long and short.
Yuk Amiro. Look at this picture class. This is Daddy. This is Mommy. This is Paris. This is Rosalie. Look at the question. Fill in the blank with word shorter or taller. Daddy is then mommy. Daddy is then mommy. Paris is then mommy. Paris is then mommy. Rosely is then daddy. Try question one. Ase, can you tell us what is the answer? Daddy is taller than mommy. Very good, Ase. Second question. Okay, let's hear from Rita. Paris is shorter than mommy. Very good, Rita. Sit down. And the last question. Class. Children. Yes, Bob. Teacher, it means Daddy is the tallest. Yes, Bob. Very good. We have studied about height earlier. Now we also must know what is the length. Children, put a pencil on your table now. Okay, good. Uh, now, put an eraser below your pencil. Both objects have different length. Which is longer? Pencil. Very good. We can say that pencil is longer than eraser. Yes, Ravi? Teacher, we can also say that the eraser is shorter than the pencil. Yes, Ravi, very good. Class, now we are going to measure a pencil on your table using the eraser. Okay, you can start now to measure your pencil. We can use different tools to measure height and length. Some of the objects include pencil, ruler, straw, statistic, paper clip. Duster, book, or even an eraser. Okay. 
all this we call non-standard stool. How do we measure the length? Look carefully. The length of the table is six straws long. Class, now we are going to measure a pencil on your table using the eraser. Yes, teacher! Okay, you can start now to measure your pencil. Measuring class? Yes, teacher! Yes? Yes, teacher, the length of my pencil is five razors long. Very good. Anybody else? The length of my pencil is three erasers long. Okay, that means your pencil is shorter than Cindy. Now, let's do another activity. I am going to ask each of group to find an object using straw and an eraser. So go to your group now. Go to your group now, class. with group 1 find the length of the desk uh, group 2 find the height of the cardboard group 3 find the height of the window and group 4 find the length of the whiteboard okay. I will give each group a straw and eraser
will ask for the measurement. Okay, we will start with group one. Can someone tell me what the length of the desk? The length of the desk is five straws long and twenty-five razors long. Long and one hundred erasers long. It is very long, teacher. Very good, children. But now we are going to ask group four. How do they measure the length of whiteboard earlier than others group, whereas the length of the whiteboard was longer than the other things? So, group four, come forward. Come forward. Okay. Okay, actually. We start with is find the rest of the whiteboard using the straws. From that, we know the rest of the whiteboard using the straws. From that, we know the rest of the whiteboard are the straws. Then, we start to find the length of a straw using the eraser. The length of a straw are 5 erasers long. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, now we know that the length of the whiteboard are 20 straws long and the length of a straw are 5 erasers long. Then, we multiply 5 erasers by 20 straws. Now, we get the length of the whiteboard measures using erasers are 100. Okay, thank you. Back to your seat. Very good children, you have done a great job today. Now look at the screen. We can record the height and the length of an object using a table. From this table, we can identify which is the highest or longest object easily. Very good children, you have done activities well. However, using a non-standard tool for measurement is not accurate. To get a, an accurate measurement, we must use a ruler or measuring tape. Okay, children, time's up. I have to go now. Uh, till I see you again. Happy studying. Stay up, class. Thank you and goodbye, teacher. Thank you and goodbye.
Aha! Now I understand what is long and short. How about you, friends? Some objects are long, some are short. Some objects are tall, some are short. We compare the lengths of objects to find out which is longer or shorter. We compare the height of objects to find out which is taller or shorter. We use non-standard tools like strings or straws to measure the length or height of objects. Okay friends, I have to go. See you on next episode with another topic. Bye! Gliders are a type of possum. They're mammals. Some are tiny and would fit into your hand. Others are as big as a cat. Gliders have a special flap of skin that's connected to their wrists and ankles, so when their legs are spread, this skin acts like wings, so they can glide from tree to tree. The tail is used for steering. Those big eyes and ears help them see and hear in the dark. Because they're busy at night looking for food, and usually during the day they sleep, they're called nocturnal animals. Gliders enjoy the sweet nectar in the flowers of some of our native plants. Some also like to eat the sugary sap that's just under the bark of certain trees. They slash the bark with their sharp teeth and then lick up the sweet liquid. Gliders are mammals. They're also marsupials. That means the females carry their tiny babies hidden in a pouch on their tummies. The babies stay in there drinking mum's milk until they're too big to fit inside. Then they ride on mum's back. Most gliders live in groups. They recognise other members of their group by their smell. So whenever gliders meet, they stop to sniff each other. They sniff where they have special glands, on the chest, on the forehead, and around the bottom. These two accept each other and go about their business. This male is smearing a special liquid around his group's territory. The smell warns other gliders that this area is occupied.
After a busy night, it's time to go home for a good sleep. Home, for gliders, is a tree hollow. A small entrance keeps out larger possums and enemies like cats, owls and goannas. There could be up to eight gliders snuggling together in this den. It helps to make sure everyone shares the group smell. Good night. Oh no, good day, gliders. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Iman apabila kita mempercayai dengan hati kita keesaan Allah. Allah sahajalah Tuhan kita yang menciptakan kita, alam ini dan segala-gala yang ada di bumi ini. Manakala takwa itu membawa erti takut kepada Allah. Bila kita ada iman dan takwa, maka kita akan menjadi orang yang ada akhlak yang baik dan juga moral yang baik. Kita tak akan terjebak dalam gejala negatif ataupun terpedaya dengan unsur yang menyeliwing. Iman dan takwa kepada Allah adalah pendinding dan perisai. Iman dan takwa menjadikan hidup manusia ada matlamat. Keimanan dan ketakwaan kepada Allah adalah di antara prinsip pendekatan Islam Hadari.